Is there a guy that did more for his team in 2017 than Russell Wilson? He accounted for 81.5% of Seattle's scrimmage yards and 37 of the team's 38 offensive touchdowns. That is insane. What more can three do? Well, plenty, according to Russell Wilson, who hung out with his old teammate, Michael Robinson. Russ, dude, training camp, man. Talk to us about it, man. This is what, seven, eight for you now? This is, this is your seven, man. Seven? Yeah. I, can't, I can't even fathom you. I, mean, I saw you walk in, just, you know, couldn't, you know, <laughs> a little snotty nose young fella. Yeah. There's been a lot of change yeah. with this team, man. There is no Michael Bennett. There is no Richard Sherman. Yeah. It's Russell Wilson. Talk about that transition and how the team dynamics have changed. Well, well you, you can't replace guys like that. I mean, yeah. I think about Richard Sherman. He's going to be a Hall of Fame player. You know, you think about Michael Bennett, such an impact player on game day. And when I came in, to 2012, we had a group that was the older guys like yeah. you, you know, and just kind of great leaders and all that kind of stuff. And now uh, that's changed a lot. I don't think that you can challenge guys to replace guys. Like we still have great leaders, and, and it's a different group, though, of leaders. Yeah. And our responsibilities have changed in a good way. In terms of my leadership and stuff, yeah. is making sure that you spend that one-on-one -on -one time, 15 minutes after practice. Hey, come on, come on with, come on with me. Let's go watch this real quick. And then, and then letting guys know that hey, you're doing a really good job. Hey, there's a couple things that we can work on here, but this is the good stuff. And also. Be accountable you know I mean I missed that throw my bad you know I, I can hit I can hit you on there next one's gonna be right on the money what, uh, what does Russell do to get himself ready for I, I, I don't have a crazy crazy ritual I, I think it really comes down to body treatment which I saw you do my yeah. rookie year just all the work you did in the pool and everything else Epsom salt bass I mean I do Epsom salt <laughs> I bath on, I do Epsom salt bath almost every night you know okay. so that, that kind of helps me relax a little bit and you know I try to find something to read um, you know, so I try to find one really? book to read. Yeah, and so that's been that's been good for me too as well. What type Just, of books do you read? Uh, I'll, I'll read uh, I'll read something about you know the mental side of the game. You know, I'm actually my last year of professional baseball right before I went to Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. uh, the last couple of weeks I was struggling. I couldn't hit a curveball. <laughs> <laughs> so, really? so the last couple of weeks I was like, man, I want to get my mind right. And uh, you know, I'm driving on the buses and everything else. And I was re reading this particular book uh, that was gonna kind of reset my mind. So I've kind of been rereading that again. You know, just taking one pitch at a time kind of deal. Yeah. And uh, so. That, and, you know, I try to find something that kind of just keeps my mind clear. Interesting, man. Do you do do you share some of these books with some of your teammates? Some yeah, we actually been talking about it uh, yesterday, actually, um, and some of the thoughts and some of the things I've I've learned just from my career as well, but also some of the things that I I, I learned from. And I think you have to be on the constant quest for knowledge, yeah. always looking for new newness and, and, and trying to find one nugget of information that can help me throughout a season, throughout life, throughout marriage, throughout also, you know, I got, you know, as you know, I got a little one now, a little girl and got baby future too. I know it's exciting, man. Yeah, it's exciting. Dog. So just to, just to learn that kind of stuff and how to, how to be better in that area and just how to be better on the field. And, but I think the thing about, you know, finding something, finding one thing, maybe two mm -hmm. that you can focus on outside of, you know, just studying and studying and studying that kind of gives you kind of a new balance. It yeah. kind of gives you uh, a sense of calmness, you know. And so one of the things that I try to do in particular when I'm practicing, when I'm playing, and obviously in the game I, I have a focal point, which mm -hmm. I know you know, I have a focal point in the stadium. But even out here, you know, in the midst of all these people, as we saw yeah. earlier out, out here, this packed house and it's hot out, Yeah, I try to find one, one location that I look at that kind of clears my mind throughout practice and through all the screaming fans and everything else. It just kind of brings you back to center. Now, you know, in my world, we're talking about the Rams, we're talking about San Francisco, you know. The Seahawks aren't the focal point of the NFC West I, from the outside world. Do you, do you kind of uh, embrace that role this year? I'm, I embrace the opportunity to play. The great thing about football is there's no pa nothing on paper tells you who's going to win or who's going to lose. I love it. You know, it's between the white lines, who's going to make the plays, who's not. It's going to be who's going to be tough enough on third and one, fourth and one. Who's going to be make the th long third down play. Who's going to come up clutch in the fourth quarter. That's what football is about. And that's the great thing about football. And that's why we play it every time. That's why the fans come to watch, you know. So what I'm excited about is, is doing whatever it takes to win, you know. And that's what we're passionate about is making sure that we set the tone. We're, we're going to have a great team, man. I'm super excited for it, you know. And experience is only necessary for those who are unqualified. So for us, we may not have all the experience in the world like we've had in the past, but I think we're qualified.